I moved to Alberta, Canada as a child from a very urban part of London and I was living in a big family and then I found myself in Canada as a child. I discovered this beauty and solace in the landscape. I have many vivid memories of Alberta, of you know, learning to swim in a rock pool in the mountains and the sensory feeling that brought to me as a child and then my head lifting above the water and seeing these mountains around me. And there was an incredible freedom there that I'd never experienced in London. Slowly that feeling of missing my family went and I found this love there in a very physical way and I suppose emotional way of being in this landscape. And when I came back to London a few years later, then of course I really missed being there. I, you know, went back several times. And then when I had my own children, I really wanted them to experience what it felt like to be in these vast landscapes and I started taking them to Wyoming, seeking out really specific places. And although some people would consider me a landscape artist, the work is really about my emotional reaction to a specific place. And it's as much autobiographical as it is a landscape. 